guys, what's up? It's Joe Ready from Ready's Rides. I'm back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. This one is a premier trim. Now, the Equinox, if you're not familiar with it, is gonna go up against the Honda CRV, the Toyota RAV4, and many other competitors in that class of vehicle, which is hotly contested. What's interesting though, at the end of the day, I think a lot of people overlook the Equinox. They're either going and looking at the Traverse, if they're here at Dimmit Chevrolet, or they're looking at the Chevrolet Blazer. I think what you're gonna find is, is that this might hit the sweet spot for you and your needs when it comes to a crossover CUV style vehicle. But let's go ahead, dive into the 2020 Chevrolet Equinox. So it's been a little bit since a redesign. So when you look at the headlight design, with the housing, a little bit on the larger side. I do like the mixture of the black and a little bit of silver in there. You have the daytime running lamps, which are LED. We drop down, no fake vents. You have your lower exterior lighting here. Nice design going on with your flat black on the lower portion. Now, when we come across the open area where the grill is, you have some horizontal slots, all that chrome, the classic gold bow tie, this being Premier, you're gonna have a forward-facing camera. And then if you drop down, you'll notice this is all flat black, very simple, but I think it's gonna help take a beating. And behind there is an intercooler because this is a turbocharged engine underneath the hood. Now, speaking of the hood, we come on up and the hood kind of cascades down. There's no front fascia that connects to it. You do have a nice body line that goes all the way down the center. And then my favorite is what they did on each side of the hood, how it goes back and then curves towards the actual fender. Now, as we come around the bend and look at this fender area, I like the way there's no flat black. It's all painted. When we look at this wheel design, this is for the Premier trim. So it's an 18 inch wheel, machine aluminum with the silver, works great with this color. Pops very nicely. We continue down the rest. You have chrome trim on the actual mirrors, probably one of the world's smallest LED turn signals built into the side chrome trim across the bottom and then up top you're going to get already installed from the factory your chrome roof rails and crossbars you could put a kayak up there you can put your mountain bikes that shows the flexibility it's like you could go out for a fancy dinner or you could throw the camping gear up top and go camping for the weekend now placement of the equinox badge not too bad i would like to see it just a little bit lower i think that would help with just the overall uh, cleanliness of the door design you have the flat black lower sill area. Very interesting design though. Look at how the body line kind of runs across the bottom. The higher belt line is nice and curved. We keep working our way back. The trim ends at the corner window for the passenger door. You do have some chrome on the door handle. And then I like the design of the rear quarter window. It's nice that there's nothing outlining it. It's nice and clean and set in very nicely. We come around to the rear. Very, very low, low roof spoiler. We drop down, you're gonna get that same bow tie, the gold classic bow tie, your Equinox badge and your Premier badge, tastefully done. And then another thing that I think was smart, it's got no exhaust showing. So we don't have to worry about what it looks like, what it smells like, what it tastes like. Don't taste ex exhaust, it doesn't, I wouldn't do that. But nice and clean with the flat black and a little bit of chrome trim. But while we go ahead, talked about the outside, let's pop that hood and see what's powering this Equinox. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk it. It would be nice to have an actual hydraulic strut, at least on the Premier trim. Underneath that, you are looking at your 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine. Ecotech is a fancy term that Chevy uses for their turbocharged engines. 170 horsepower, 203 pound-feet of torque. It's all mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. Weighs in around 3,274 pounds. Zero to 60 is on the sluggish side, but I don't think anybody buys one of these to go race them. Zero to 60 though, 8.7 seconds. Quarter mile, 16.7. And MPGs, 25 in the city, 30 on the highway. I guess the nice thing is when you look underneath the hood, you could clearly see the engine, where the turbocharger is, and there's not a bunch of plastic all over the place, which is nice from a car enthusiast standpoint. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this Equinox up and see if it makes any sound. All 
All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Equinox Premier Trim. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I'm, I'm sort of liking what you're showing right now. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is equipped, is around $36,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, door panels, there's a lot of dark material, but Chevrolet got a little bit of this tan contrast stitching. I wish they would have done a little bit more style-wise, especially this being Premier Trim, so I am zonking the door panel. Soft material on the armrest, but at the top of the door, the area is very, very small where it's actually soft. The rest of it's as hard as a rock. When we come to the dash, we have this nice perforated simulated leather. That same stitch work, hard, hard plastic. You do get some nice chrome looking trim around the AC vents. We also have our eight inch infotainment system. This one has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot. It's got the nice sliding feature. You wanna look out the front, there's your 360 degree camera. You could go through all different camera views. So if you like cameras on your vehicle, you could see the usability of all the, even for hooking up a trailer hitch to the back. Now, as we drop down, you have your AC controls nicely placed, ventilated and heated seats. So that is a big plus. Thank you, Chevy, for doing that. I like where the start stop button is. I also think it's smart, USB-C, USB, 12 volt, excuse me, aux jack and a 12 volt, and you have your wireless charging conveniently placed. Flat black is good because you're not gonna get fingerprints. Two cup holders, this is gonna control that six-speed automatic transmission, no CVT. Thank you, Chevrolet. A little cubby for some Jolly Ranchers, and then the armrest is as hard as a rock, like a moon rock, but it's at a great height. Open it up, you have the perfect tray. Look at this, this is Slim Jim Twizzler designed tray that you keep right in there. Two more USBs, an LED light, and then enough space for about 24 Twinkies. So if you're hungry that day, you're gonna wanna be in an Equinox. Seats, I like the stitching. The leather material is nice. They're a little firm, but I think they're gonna break in over time. And then of course, to wrap it up, up top we have a nice panoramic sunroof, which is a very nice touch on this Equinox. But why don't you come on over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Equinox Premier. All right, guys, business end behind the wheel. You have all your electric seat controls very nicely placed with two memory settings. So you're gonna get two memory settings for you and your favorite someone special. Steering wheel, I like the leather. We're looking horn button. It looks very alien-ish in a way, um, but it's okay. It's got the Game Boy style buttons. I'm gonna zonk that. You do have a heated steering wheel though, and all your um, controls are here, but I just don't like that rubber finish. Dash, you could tell it hasn't been redesigned in a while, but you do have an analog tech, analog speedometer, and then a smaller digital display in there where you could go through all sorts of information, which is nice. Seating position, I have it perfect. I got plenty of headroom, six feet tall, plenty of shoulder room. Why don't we go ahead and check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna like this Equinox. All right, guys, back seat time in the Equinox. I I'm actually quite impressed. It is very comfortable back here, plenty of headroom. Backs of the seats are all leather, which is I like to see. It's just these pockets are not very, very uh, large. So you could probably get a pencil in there or uh, a nail file. But other than that, you do have the pockets. Here's what I like. Look at this. You have all your seat controls nicely done back here. Heated seats for your passengers. Two USBs and a home power source and two small AC vents. They're small, but hey, at least they're there. Seats though are comfortable. You can put a couple different positions by adjusting them from the back with the seat angle. And then the armrest, nicely placed. It's not the softest, but you do have the cup holders in the right spot. Flip it back. Let's get ready. Let's check out that cargo area and see what we could put in the Equinox. All right, guys, what kind of junk can you put in the trunk or cargo area? Nice electric assist. It's on the faster side. And look at that, with the seats up, you have plenty of room back here two little cubby areas on the side. On the right-hand side, which I'm gonna swing around Tom here, is gonna be your 12 volt, which is great. You go camping, you need that inflatable mattress right here, you put that. And then what I also like is you're gonna have these handles here that you do that with. Look at that, boom, nice and flat. That's smart engineering. Let's see what's under here, shall we? Storage space. You can load it up with boxes of Twinkies, and you can go for a whole week without eating anything else. I could promise you that. But nicely done. 
Let's get to the best part though. You're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Equinox for a spin. All right guys, we're rolling out of Dimit Chevrolet. We're in the 2020 Equinox Premier with the 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine. Remember, we're talking about 170 horsepower. The good news is six speed automatic transmission, not a CVT. I do like the driving position. I was able to get the seat perfect to my body and very good visibility out coming out the front. I'm still trying to figure out if there's gonna be a ton of glare on this screen. Obviously not very sunny in sunny Florida today, um, but that could be an issue, especially with the panoramic sunroof, but definitely visibility, the way they got the eight pillars pulled wide apart, you have a really good view out the front. Out the back, very, very nicely done. Side mirrors are a little little squeeze, a little bit of a squeeze there, but um, they look good, I guess. They're stylish uh, instead of two billboards uh, attached to the side of the Equinox, but very smooth driving vehicle. Feedback from the steering wheel is pretty good. Going into this left-hand bend here. Rolling on throttle, rolling on throttle. Remember, this is front wheel drive on throttle. That's the that's the challenge uh, is the zero to sixty, um, not the fastest of vehicles by far. So something just to take into consideration when looking at this particular Equinox uh, Premier. But still, you know, I think a lot of people aren't going to be very concerned about that who are buying one of these. But handling though, not too shabby. I mean, there's a little bit of a, a body roll there but not too shabby uh, for this type of vehicle. Uh, I like the feedback I'm getting to the steering wheel, which is nice. Uh, it's got a, a decent weight to it, and there's not a bunch of play in it, which is which is good as well. Makes you feel more connected to the actual uh, vehicle than when you have the steering wheel that you can move almost 360 degrees, and you're still going straight. Guys, I'm doing about 20 on throttle. Takes a while. We're waiting a while for it to drop down, so I am zonking that. That is not good. When you get on throttle, you wanna go. But let's see how she handles on the brakes. Not too bad, I'm telling you, turning is nice. Not too much roll, but it's very, very laggy. When you get on throttle, it takes a while for that six speed to drop down. And then when you combine that from the boost lag of that inline four turbocharged engine, you're waiting forever to get going. So that to me, is a safety issue to be honest with you because if you were to pull out in traffic and you didn't give yourself enough space you might be meeting somebody that you never met before in a not very nice way so something to take into consideration when driving this equinox i do like though the inside i feel very very comfortable and i like the way the back kind of the back of the seat kind of cradles my back um it feels very, very nice. I, I, I think for a long drive, this Equinox would really do a great job. My arms are at a good height on the armrest, and then the steering wheel has a nice feel to it. Now, getting into all the different controls, it's easy to get into your AC. I like the way it shows up on the screen. And in this particular class, I like that it has the ventilated and heated seats, especially um, they work very, very well. I just turn them on immediately. Nice, clear. You go into your camera while you're driving, which is kind of cool too. We're looking out the front. Going to a different setting there. Look out the back. I do like that feature. That is nice. Very nice. And it's a, a very clear image as well as we see that Dodge, uh, excuse me, Ram, that Ram truck drive past us. But that's also very nice as well with this equinox all right guys the nice thing about the drive of this equinox is it is very smooth um the wind noise is actually not too bad in here uh to be honest with you um and that's another nice thing to be able to experience is that the environment inside the equinox is for the most part pleasant besides when you're stepping on the gas that's the the challenge is it can't get out of its own way dash is easy to read easy to get to all the controls and just very very smooth driving vehicle all right guys been another wonderful day here at dimmit chevrolet i definitely got to thank raheel and the rest of the crew getting us access to this equinox hey it's a choice 
And that's what's great about having choices is you could try different vehicles out and see what's best for you. I think this Equ Equinox does some things really, really well. Would I personally go out and buy it? Probably not. I may check some of the competitors out, but it still has a lot of different options for people that need a versatile vehicle. But if it's vehicles like these that you wanna keep seeing on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. I gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. He can block the sun like an eclipse, not an equinox, but an eclipse with his muscles. So thank you, Tom, for working out like you do. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.